All right, so let's work on recognizing pairs of angles. So are we looking at alternate exterior, alternate interior, corresponding angles? And just a little piece of advice. Um, the first thing that you want to try to find is the transversal. That's going to help us identify um, what type of angles we have, especially when there's more lines than we might need. And to find the transversal, this is going to be the line that connects your two angles. And I'm talking about the two angles that they have identified in the figure. All right. So if you look at this first figure right here, we have angle 1 and angle 2. And we want to find there's 1, 2, 3, 4 lines. There's one of those that connects the two angles. It goes from angle 1 to angle 2. That angle, or the line that connects the two angles, is your transversal. So we want to find that. Sometimes it's helpful to identify. And it also could be helpful to extend your line a little bit longer than the figure. Um, it's okay to do that. And then sometimes even just to label so you know, okay, that's your transversal. And then the two coplanar lines, we're looking for the, the other half of the angle, basically, because your transversal gives you part of your angle. And then, so I'm looking at angle one. Do you see how I have two lines going here, coming up to angle one, but only one of those gives us angle one. That's going to be this one right here. So you can draw that in and or kind of outline it so we know it's going to be this line, and I'm going to actually extend it beyond. And then this is the line that's giving us angle 2. All right, so this line right here, we do not need that line. We're just going to completely ignore it. So let's look at angles 1 and angles, angle 1 and angle 2. So if you notice, we have 1 is an exterior angle because it's on the outside of our two coplanar lines, and 1 is an interior angle and they're both on the same side of the transversal. So when that happens, angles one and angles two, angle one and angle two are corresponding angles. All right, so let's move on to the next picture. Again, find your transversal first. So where's the line that is connecting both of your angles and hopefully you guys are finding it's this one right here so we'll go ahead and highlight that one and then the other two lines are going to be the two lines giving us the second half of our angle or the rest of our angle so for angle four it's going to be this line right here and for angle three it's going to be this one now we have this extra line that we're going to ignore so look at your two coplanar lines. Are our angles on the interior or exterior? And because, because they're between the two, those are interior angles. And then are they on the same side or alternate sides of the transversal? And hopefully we can see that they are on alternate sides. So those are going to be alternate interior angles. All right, let's look at one more. Again, find your transversal first. So where is that line? We have a lot of lines in this one. So where is the line that connects angle 5 and angle 6? And you want to go ahead and highlight that one. And then the two coplanar lines are going to be the lines that give you the rest of the angle. So for angle 5, it's this line right here. I'm just going to extend it so it looks a little bit better. And here's the line for angle 6, and I'm going to extend that. All right, so do we have alternate, or do we have exterior or interior angles? Here's our two coplanar lines. You can see angles 5 and 6 are not on the inside, they're on the outside, so those are exterior. And then if you notice, we have them on the alternate sides of our transversal right here. So these are going to be alternate exterior angles. All right, so we have a couple more figures to look at. Um, again, we're just starting with find that transversal, find the line that's connecting the two angles that we're trying to identify. 
So where's the one line that connects one angle one to angle two? Well, we can see it's this line right there. So we can go ahead and highlight that one. There's your transversal. And then the coplanar lines, the two other lines, are going to be the lines that give you the rest of the angle. So we're talking this one, and I'm just going to extend it so it looks good. This one, I'm going to extend it. And again, the reason why we extend those lines, you don't have to, it's just to help out. If I can ignore all the other lines in the figure, then I have my two coplanar lines and the transversal cutting through. It looks like all the examples that we were doing. All right, so we've got angle one and angle two. And I'm, we'll go ahead and write this one in. Angle one and angle two are, and what are they? Are they interior, exterior, corresponding? So are they on the inside or outside of our coplanar lines right here? If you notice, they're both on the inside, so that makes them interior. And if you notice, they're on the opposite sides of that transversal. So they are alternate interior lines. All right. So next example, this, this is kind of a separate question. We're going to, we'll answer that in a minute. But first, let's identify angle 7 and 8. So what do we start with again? You always start with your transversal. So from going from 7 to 8, this is the line that connects them. So we'll highlight that one. And then draw in your coplanar lines. Those are just the lines that give us the rest of the angle. All right, so let's see. Angle 7 and angle 8 are, let's see, there are they on the inside or the outside of our coplanar lines. You can see that they're on the inside, so that makes them interior, and they're on alternate sides of that transversal, so they are alternate interior. All right, so this last question, it says, can you find alternate interior angles formed by AD and BC with trans transversal AC? So I'm going to redraw this picture over here. I'm actually going to pause the video and do that real quick. All right, so go ahead and draw that in. You can pause the video and let's see what they're asking us. They're saying, can you find alternate interior angles formed by AD and BC? So those are our coplanar lines with transversal AC. So I'm going to start with a transversal. We're going to draw that one in first. They said that AC would be our transversal. All right, and then this time they said that our coplanar lines would be AD and BC. So you can see we're looking at different lines than the, than the same figure right here. So where would our alternate interior angles be? Again, we have extra lines. We're going to ignore these blue lines. Now, alternate interior angles are going to be on the inside. And we can go ahead and say that angles 1 and 2, do you see how they're on the inside and alternate sides of the transversal? Angles 1 and 2 would be alternate interior. And also I could say angle 3 and angle 4 would also be alternate interior. So angle 1 and angle 2 and angle 3 and angle 4. That would answer that question.